the first thing we're going to do is set up a motion zone. Setting it up is really important because you need motion zones in order to detect motion and to get alerts. To set it up, you go to Motion Settings and Edit Motion Zone. When we draw our motion zones, we want to remember that anywhere the zone is is where we'll detect motion. So I intentionally left off my palm trees because I don't want motion alerts every time my palm tree moves. Also, I might want to get additional coverage for the balcony, so I'll add a second zone that covers just that as well. So now I'll only get motion notifications and detection for those zones. Our next motion setting is motion sensitivity. You just tap into it and you can decide how sensitive you want your motion detection to be. So if you want to make sure you get everything, make sure that you slide it over to the max. Our next motion setting is people only mode. This is a great feature for Ring Protect subscribers. What it does is make sure that you only get alerts when a person is detected. To turn it on, you just go in and you opt in. Our next feature is motion schedule. To set up a motion schedule, you go into advanced settings and you select motion schedules. Motion schedule is a really cool feature because it allows you to decide when you don't want to get alerts. So for example, I have one set up every Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. when my gardener comes by so I don't get alerts from all of my cameras at that time. So now you know how to optimize your motion settings. If you have any other questions, drop us a comment and we'll try to get to it in a future episode of Ask Ring. See you guys soon.